Hey there, it's Mike with Kimmy Cloud back with another video. I'm pleased as punch to introduce you to our video series on WHMCS. In this, the very first video in the series, we will cover how to install WHMCS in cPanel. Let's begin. Before we get too far, I'd like to mention that in order to install and run WHMCS, you will need a WHMCS license. If you are a ChemiCloud customer, we've got you covered. We offer a free WHMCS license with our expand or established reseller hosting plans. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go back to the video. First, you'll need to open your cPanel. As you can see, mine is already open. Next, scroll to the bottom of the page and look for the Softaculous Apps Installer. Locate and click on the WHMCS icon. You will be taken to the info page for WHMCS. On this page, you can see the description of what WHMCS is, along with some tabs to explore more about the application. To install WHMCS, click the blue Install button. If you've ever installed an app from Softaculous before, you're probably familiar with the general idea of the information Softaculous tends to ask for during an installation. But if you're doing this for the first time, don't worry. First, you'll see the Software Setup section. Here you need to choose the installation URL for WHMCS, the version you want to install, the data directory for WHMCS, and the Chrome job configuration. For the URL, you definitely want to be sure that HTTPS is selected from the dropdown. Next, choose your domain name. If you already have a subdomain and you want to use it for WHMCS, be sure you've already created it and it will appear in the domain dropdown. For directory, enter the directory into which you want to install WHMCS. For my installation, I'm going with HTTPS cchostingdemos.com slash billing. Next, in the version, be sure you've chosen the latest version. As of the creation of this video, the latest version of WMCS is 8.2.1. Next, choose the data directory. WHMCS's data directory is stored in your home folder above the public HTML folder. I'm going to leave the name of the folder as is so that I can easily identify it in my FTP client and my file manager. For the Chrome job, Leave this as is because it's super important to the way WHMCS works. Now let's take a look at the site settings. Now enter the name of your company. This will be on all emails sent from WHMCS, so be sure you enter what you want others to see when you contact them from WHMCS, whether it's by ticket or the auto emails that can be sent out when a new service is provisioned. For admin folder, this is the directory where the administrative side of WHMCS is stored. By default, it's admin. If you were to put this into URL form, that would make my WHMCS admin area accessible at https colon slash slash www.cchostingdemos.com slash billing slash admin. Because admin is the default, that means bots will look for it and try to attack it. To remove another vector of attack from those bots and other hackers, I'm going to rename this to billing-admin. This means that my WHMCS admin URL will be https colon slash slash www.cchostingdemos.com slash billing slash billing hyphen admin. Next, enter the license key for your WHMCS installation. Now let's take a look at the admin account area. Enter the username and password that you want to use for the administrative account along with the name of that user. Since I'm going to be adding other users to my WHMCS installation later on, I'm going to leave the name of this user as System Administrator. However, I am going to enter the admin email for my domain. This way I can gain access if I ever need to use the Forgot My Password feature.
Scrolling down the page, look for the blue Install button. Click that button and Softaculous will check the details that you entered earlier are correct and then install WHMCS. When the installation is finished, you will see the success screen and you will see the link to your installation's front end and the admin URL to log in. Congratulations, you just installed WHMCS. Please join us for the next video tutorial where you will learn how to configure the general settings in WHMCS. All right, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you'll probably enjoy our hosting services even more. Kimi Cloud offers the best customer service in the industry, along with a fast, secure, and reliable cloud hosting platform, all backed up by five-star public reviews from our own customers. Try us out worry-free for 45 days. We're so confident that you'll be satisfied with our services. If you're not, you get your money back. We look forward to bringing you more video tutorials in the coming weeks. Have a great day and be sure to subscribe to our channel.